Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm having a problem with this Dell Optiplex 3020 every time I turn it on. So as you can see, I have a service tag on the top. That's where that information is because I'm going to do a video in a few days on how to upgrade the BIOS version for this computer. So when it's ready, you, you will be able to click on the top right of this screen or in the video description below. So now I'm going to turn it on. Uh, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and right away I see this message this computer system the service tag is protected by a password authentication system you cannot access the data on this computer without the correct password please type the, ta the system or administrator password optiplex3020 so as you can imagine I don't have the password I don't remember it and I cannot access the BIOS, I cannot go to the operating system whether it is Linux or Windows I cannot do anything so we cannot do anything with software we have to do something with hardware now we're going to shut down the computer as you can see me doing right there so allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and we are going to disconnect the power the the monitor over there and we are going to open the case on this model is super simple uh, actually you know, in every Dell model is kind of simple so somewhere on the motherboard we have to look for some pins and a jumper so I left a picture on the top right so you can see how it looks in this model is at the bottom over here next to the power supply so I'm going to rotate it so you can see it better allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and, and I'm going to zoom in so right there we see some letters which is PSWD which, is, which stands for password and there are three pins and the two on the left are are where the jumper is right we have to remove it and put it back to pins two and three so just using your fingers the tip of the tip of your fingers or um, some pliers we are going to pull it up like that pretty simple it doesn't need much effort so now what we have to do is we have to place back the jumper but in on pins two and three the origin was one and two now we have to do two and three like that so now allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera we're going to see if this worked now i'm going to rotate this desktop computer like it was before and we are going to connect the monitor the power and we're going to turn it on okay so we do that it's going the fan is going to spin for a few seconds and we're going to move the camera and let's turn it on and the message that is going to show goes by super quick so i'm going to stop the video here the hardware jumper is removed to override the system password setting system password has been erased and password cannot be changed please connect the hardware jumper to perform any password changes so the password the admin password is gone and if we are going to continue to the operating system that's not a problem however we are going to see this message every time and we don't want that as you can see uh, we don't have any other message here and windows in my case is starting and that's great the password is gone we have access to our operating system now however i don't want that message to show every time i turn on the computer so i'm going to shut it down and we're going to do kind of the same we're going to disconnect everything we're going to rotate it and we're going to place back the jumper to its original position now i'm going to do exactly the same i'm going to pull it up like that but this this is me you know me so i'm going to make the jumper fall over there as always and now i cannot reach it so allow me a few seconds i'm going to turn over the machine so for the jumper to come out that's where it is and now let's go back and this time more carefully i'm going to place back the jumper on pins one and two so once i done that we are going to um we're going to rotate the desktop computer we're going to i found a, a screw a screw over there i'm going to connect the monitor i'm going to connect the power and now uh, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and we are going to turn it on so as you can see there is no pop-up there is no message there is nothing we are going to go directly to windows we can see the logo there it can be linux as well and that's how you reset the BIOS password or admin password for uh, Dell Optiplex 3020. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.